ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's interview. Tonight, we'll be interviewing one of Australia's famous artists, Sydney Nolan! Welcome, Sydney Nolan. We are thrilled to have you here. Oh, please, the pleasure is mine. I love being here. Well, before we get started, let's talk about what you're wearing. Oh, okay. Let's sure. Let's wear it. We ahead. call it the Halloween Special! Okay. So we brought you onto the show so your fans and I could get to know you a little bit better. Like your artwork, your life, and just you in general. Okay, let's start. Alright, so we're going to ask you a couple questions. Mm -hmm. So your first question is what inspired you to paint? Well, ever so recently, my before I started painting, I traveled around the world and I looked at the culture and the people and how they interact together, and that really inspired me to like put a paint to, uh, to canvas or put paint to paintbrush and just paint something which showed how I feel. And I think that's my biggest inspiration: travel around the world. That's really interesting. Right? Next question. I know a lot of people want to know this, so that's the reason we're asking. How much is your income? I'm going to have to pass on that one because I don't uh, paint because I worry about the money. I paint I want to make money. I paint because I really want to, uh, I like the art of painting, I like the techniques and like how much I learn during painting and I don't care about the money as much as I care about all the other things that are associated with painting. So I'm not going to answer that question. That is actually really cool. Oh, you got that? Listen to him. So, next question. When did you start painting? Um, from what my mom and my dad tell me, I think I started painting when I was about like two or three. Like I used to like draw silly pictures and like lines and drawings and then slowly I progressed to like drawing like actual portraits of people and then that actually like, and then that actually like uh, trained me to be like a really better uh, painter and I think I started painting when I was three and I've ha still had the passion ever since I was little, since I've had right now. So my passions stay the same. That is actually really, really interesting. And moving on to the next question. What inspired your painting, The Footballer? Oh, there was this football player in the 1940s and I really, really liked his uh, work and like how well he played. But the, most of all, I really liked his jersey and like the colors and like what they represented and how they made the audience feel and like everyone in the audience. And all of that was just so interesting and inspiring. And that's why I took most of the inspiration from The Footballer and I made my painting. You heard it here. A lot of people want to know this and here is your answer. It's really interesting. Thank you for sharing it. Yeah. Next question. Who was your biggest supporter during your time of being an artist? Um, well, aside from my family and my fans and like all the generic answers, aside from all of that, um, a surprising answer would be my dear wife, who I uh, adore so much. Her name's Dora Irene. She didn't want to come here today because she is really busy at home. But like, she's one of my biggest supporters ever since I started um, a, a, a painting. That is cool. Shout out to Dora Irene. Next question. Where did you grow up? I know that you love traveling, but like where was your place that you grew up? Well, um, I grew up in Carlton, Victoria, and I've actually really, really liked that place. Like, I've gone around the world many times, I've gone to many different places, but Carlton, Victoria has always had a special place in my heart, and I've always wanted to stay there because I just really, really like that place. That is really sweet and nice. Next question. Who was your biggest inspiration, as in different artists? Which ones inspired you, to, inspired you the most? Oh well, this, this is like definitely a long list, but I'm going to try and narrow it down to the four main artists who actually inspired me ever since I was a little, a little kid. So, one of them has to be Paul Cezanne, like his work is incredible, I'm pretty sure you've seen it, cool. he's really good. And then Pablo Picasso, I mean like iconic, like, like honestly incredible. Henry Matisse, he's so he's good. Really good. And um, finally, um, Henry Russo, he's really good. He yeah. is ideal. Yeah, he's really good. Yeah, I really like their work, and they were my biggest inspiration inspirations when it came to painting and what I've done in my oh, what I've done so far. That's cool. All right. <clears throat> Next question: What is the best piece of advice anyone has ever given you? Well, there was this one quote. It's like uh, it, I read it when I was really little, and it goes a little something like. Um, don't give up on a dream just because of the time it'll take you to accomplish it, which I think is very true, not just like when it comes to painting, to like dance, acting, anything you want to do, like stay true to it and do it until you want to do it. And it can take you years and years and years of practice, but you will get there and if you don't get there, you've learned so many things in the process and you will eventually get there one day. And I think that's very important because that's helped me get to where I am today. 
over the years. He's a motivational speaker, guys. Next question. Who in your family did not support what you were doing, as in who did not like your idea of being an artist? There were, there were really no haters or like people who did not approve in my family. Uh, but I feel like there's always going to be haters, no matter what you do. Like you could literally just like help a kid and then like people could like hate and uh, adore you. So I, I feel like, uh, like people like the old saying that it goes, like, you know, uh, with fame comes hate, you know? <laughs> that is quite correct. And anyways, unfortunately the time has come. We have to say goodbye. This, is, this was our last question. Oh, so but thank you so much for coming. It's really appreciated. Well, uh, <coughs> are you all right? <coughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Cut that camera! If this gets leaked, no one can tell anyone it was me. I'm gonna get fired. Don't, don't, no. It's the dream.